My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And this review will have spoilers, so there's your warning. But I have no idea what the consensus on this game is. I didn't know what to expect, but I really liked it. It's not as good as Resident Evil 2 or 4, but it's certainly better than the third one. I just thought this was a fantastic, terrifying game. Like, this game had me on edge. The atmosphere is absolutely unreal. Like, the setting of this house by the bayou is brought to life so perfectly in the lighting and the tension and just the slow dread. It's just... I, I, I loved it. it. I was playing it and I just looked down at my legs at a certain point and all my hairs were just sticking up like this. Just, it really got to me a few, quite a few times. And I just love how they find a way to keep you on edge and the jump scares I thought added to the tension. I thought it added to the experience and they got me quite a few times. Like, it's just such a fun game to play. It really is. And I love how you go through this house and you have to backtrack a bunch of times. And there are some moments that you hate and you're like, what? I have to go past Jack again? Damn it. Or I have to go into that basement again? Damn it. It's just you never feel safe. And there are so many great moments, whether it's the introduction, like... They just establish the atmosphere immediately. The house, this rotten food, the attic, just everything about that introduction really worked for me. Then you get this moment where it kind of reminded me of Texas Chainsaw, where it just makes you feel sick to your stomach. And then there's like this uh, basement. And just any time I had to go down to this basement, it had me on edge. There was these monsters and it got my heart pumping. Uh, there was this section out at the bayou with all these bugs that had me on edge. Whenever you're in an underground tunnel, that re really did it for me. But I think the scariest moment in this entire game is when... You need a lantern to open a door and you enter this kid's area. This is hands down maybe the scariest section in any game I've played. Just every bit of sound, every creak you hear, just whether it's the piano, you see a ball bouncing and then you have to go into this little hideout in the walls and then you get attacked by a monster. All of this was just brilliant. I absolutely loved it. And I also love how this section where you find old grainy found footage and then you see what happened to different people but then you have to go into that same area so it adds to the atmosphere. There's this one scene where Someone has a pen and it gets written into his skin and that got me real good. There's some nice body hole and I thought the gameplay mechanics and the different type of weapons you have was all really well done. I think it's, uh, yeah, like gameplay wise and just setting and atmosphere, it really worked for me. And I noticed there were a bunch of horror references throughout this game. Like there's a character named Mia. And the main character in 2013's Evil Dead is Mia. And you could say that's a stretch, but then there's a section with a chainsaw where Jack says groovy, and I'm like, okay, it's not a stretch. There's a reference to 1408, and I'm sure I missed others, but I like that. And the story works well enough for the most part. It's serviceable, it's not why I play these games. But let's get to my negatives. And my first one is the character of Ethan. He's just very bland and he doesn't react to stuff as much as he should. Like his wife is trying to kill him at a certain point And he's 
just not reacting. And then he gets his hand cut off and I thought that was weird how he's, you know, it's a minor inconvenience. And there's just a, a few things that he survives that maybe he shouldn't have. I also wish that the enemies had more variety to them. Like, there are these black toy creatures, and there's normal, there's some with claws, and there are some that crawl around. They all just kind of felt the same to me. Uh, the character of Mia, I thought was very underdeveloped. I never felt like she was actually Ethan's wife. And there's one moment where you have to choose between e Mia or this other girl named Zoe. And I chose Mia, of course, but then I looked it up, and if you chose Mia, the game pretty much continues as it would have, so I just hate fake choices like that. There was no point. You should have just made it um, consistent with Mia. But then I have two big issues with this game, and the first one is a few of the boss fights really pissed me off, like fighting the mother was terrifying and great. Loved that. But when you fight Jack with the chainsaw, it actively pissed me off. Like, I was stuck there for quite a bit, and I kind of wanted to crit. It was just really frustrating and not in a fun way. And then when he comes back as this giant creature, you can't actually avoid his hits. Like, I can't jump, I can't dodge, so you're just stuck there. And I hate that as well. And then we get to the ending, and like, okay, look, the first 70% percent of this game is by far the best part and I still like the last section when you're on the tanker or the ship or whatever and there are these monsters and you have to go up and down the elevator and ladders and all of that really had me on edge I enjoyed that but after that I thought it just I know there's still a few moments where you're playing as Ethan underground but I didn't feel like the last bit was as scary as the rest and the final fight is just completely unsatisfying, both gameplay-wise and narratively. Like, it's... I don't like difficult boss fights, but... Come on, you have to do more than this. It just felt like a lazy cop-out. So, this game is not perfect. It does have some issues. I wish they did some stuff a bit better. But the important thing is that it's a whole game and it scaled the shit out of me. I thought the setting was just 10 out of 10. The atmosphere and the tension and the jump skills really made for a great experience that I can see myself going back to quite a bit. So I'll give Resident Evil 7 a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, so have you played Resident Evil 7? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.